morning guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and welcome to our Roman cookery special appointment, weekly appointment. Every week, every Sunday, you have the chance, you have the opportunity to watch a video about Roman cookery. I will be cooking so many different recipes. I got several books and I'm getting more informed and I am studying about things and recipes and I can tell you that this is fascinating. Today I will make you a special recipe, a very basic one. Today I'm gonna do a new recipe and it's gonna be Panis de Pisticius. What mortals need if not two things? The mattress bread and water to drink. These are always available and made for nourishment. Well, this is a fragment from a lost tragedy, specifically the FR892 from Nauk. The great Greek poet Euripides stayed away from the excess of the foodie and gave to bread its special role, placing it at the summit of the most necessary food for men. As soon as the sun was coming out, so basically at dawn, the peasants would leave their houses and get out in the fields to cultivate the fields. So around about midday they would take a break and they would just stop and relax a little bit and have a quick snack. So this, this snack was very interesting, it was made out of mature olives and also aloe. So this fish was found at the very bottom of jars after the garum was extracted, so they would eat, you know, dried fish and bread and mature olives. Sometimes they would even eat bread and wild herbs, so they would pick up herbs from the fields and they would, you know, eat it. So they would eat raw vegetables as also they would pick up fruits from the trees, so fresh fruits, Rum fruits, 2000 years old, amazing, amazing taste, very organic, I must tell you. Talking about fruits, figs are very common because first of all they're really high in sugar and they provide a lot of energy. Sometimes they would even add some vinegar with bread. This was rather refreshing and thirst quenching. Well, cattle gives us a very simple recipe, a knowledge that is very common all over the world, that is widespread all over the world. Even Indian bread today is produced in a very similar way as Roman bread. So depisticus, it means very well mixed. And cattle makes a point when it talks about mixing the flour, it's, it's telling us to mix it well, to mix it for a long time because probably must have been other types of bread that weren't as homogeneous as this one. So let's have a look. For this recipe we will need two things. One, a cup of water and a cup of flour, okay? For this recipe I chose to get uh, this specific type of flour which is very expensive but you don't need to buy it and I don't think that you could find it in America, for example, or in England. This is a type, this is an organic type of flour, first of all. It costs around about 5 euros. This one is called Perchasaki, is organic. So this is a Sicilian flour, like the one the Romans used to have, it comes from Sicily. This is spelt wheat or hard wheat. This is very good and basically it is made with a uh, type of stone so the stone is breaking the little seeds. Basically the process of making this flour is done by hand, okay? It's handmade and the, and the little seeds, the little flower seeds get macerated uh, by hand. And this uh, specific machine that they use, it goes around it does 100 rounds per minute. Can you can you imagine that? So this is very cool. But don't be afraid. You can use any type of flour, and this will work just fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Wow, it's unbelievable. This flour is closed with cotton, basically. I try to open it up. Okay, I'll put on. So let's get our flour here. This is 
hard to do. But what can I do about it? I must do it. Here we are. Katun says that we need to make sure we wash our hands before we get to work. So please guys, wash your hands. Let's add our water here, but not all together, okay? Just be very careful, do it little by little, okay? So we will start mixing it with our hands, basically. Yeah, just make sure you add it like little by little, okay? Let's have more water here. This is a really hard work, guys, but it's worth it, I hope. So to get rid of the excess of flour, you might want to uh, put more flour into your hands. This way you'll get rid of it. You can keep on mixing it. Okay, now the dough is getting better, you know, it's getting better, I can, I can feel it in my hands, so yeah, way better, so make sure that you put the right amount of water, the water is making the difference in this recipe, really, 100%. It's gonna take a lot of time. Just keep on mixing, don't give up, okay? Just don't give up. It's gonna take a while, look at this. This is way better than before. So, so guys, remember to mix this for a while, okay? Even Katun tells us to do this for a while. This is not just a five minutes thing, this is something that's gonna last for a long time. Probably 10 to 20 minutes. And you're gonna have to do it, you know? You're gonna have to mix and mix and mix. Okay, so let's take a little bit of this dough, okay, let's put it here like this and let's, you know, see what happens later, you know, we'll do another one, this one, put it here, put it here, another one here. We are nice and ready. We are ready and set. I will stick this in the oven around about 13, 15 minutes and the more it stays, the, the more crunchy it will get. So it's your choice. So let's see what happens.
Here's our bread. Ready to go. I need to let it dry for a little bit. And uh, well, it looks good to me. Okay guys, it was really hard, hard work, but still, here we are, so I'm gonna try it and see how it tastes like. Hmm, very good. Very, very good. Roman bread is fantastic. Well, thank you so much for watching, and remember, if you feel sad, you better go sad. Bye-bye.